Hi, everybody. Welcome to Live with Prima. My name is Frank. I'm here with Ken Oliver. Hey, Frank. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you. Um, Ken is our newest Prima member. He's joining the Prima family. So welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm very excited. He's going to be one of our newest educators right. at Prima. So um, you'll be seeing a lot from him. And I know I kind of like started late, so sorry about that. I know everybody's wondering, where's Frank? Where's Frank? I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> so how are you doing, Ken? I'm great, man. You're, I'm really excited. You're, are you excited to be working with Prima products? I am. Okay. You're you're going to love it. Love Prima for a long time. Yeah, Prima's great. And we're going to be doing some um, seashore tags. I know the project wasn't up on the on the, um, on the the website. Sorry about that. We kind of, yeah, I've been going everywhere. I just came back from Wisconsin recently, so I've been, like, everywhere. So I'm sorry about that, but we, I'm here, and I'm going to show you guys some awesome projects that I made with the seashore collection. Okay, so these are the tags that we'll be making today. Um, these are using seashore um, and some of Prima's embellishments. Um we're going to be making a set of four. Thank you, Ken. I'm excited about these. They are beautiful. <laughs> like we can see, really see that it says Seashore is the color palette. Yeah, yeah. It's, I really love that amazing. color palette. Yes, it's um, it's a really beautiful line. And um, I want to show you guys some of the products we'll be using. Um, before, But before we do that, um, do you guys have any um, questions? Can you guys hear us and see us okay? Um, it's really hot in here, and I, I don't know why, but it's just hot. <laughs> <laughs> Is Carrie texting me? <laughs> Please have... Okay. Thanks, Carrie. He's here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you guys what we're going to be using um, for the show. So let me go ahead and pan down the camera really quick. Um, and if you guys have any questions, um, Ken will be reading the chat. Oh, I will. And okay. he will be helping me craft today. <laughs> so we'll have fun. So let me go ahead and pan down here. Ooh. Okay. Kind of crooked, but okay. There we go. Yes, yeah, Sunny, these tags are beautiful. Wait till you see like everything we're gonna use to make them. It's yeah. kind of exciting. It's exciting. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna be using the seashore collection, and these are some of the papers we're gonna be using. Um, this one is called Sea Memories, and this one's eight one three five nine eight, and this one has all of these fun cutouts. Really love these type of types of papers because you can cut out all the pieces, use them as journaling cards, use them in your albums, use them on tags like I did. And it has all these little cutouts like ribbons, you know, and stuff like that that you can use on cards as well. I know you're a card maker, yeah, Ken. they're so, beautiful. Yeah, so it's a really beautiful palette. And then the back is just really nice. I mean, you guys know I love my browns and my cream colors. So this is a really, really nice um, palette here. It's great because it has postage stamps on yeah, it. It yeah. has... Um, vegetation like flowers and uh, it looks like is that seaweed or coral it's like, and it's like shells. Coral, yeah, shells the shells are what gets me i mm. love the shells it's beautiful yeah and then this one here is called sea breeze and this one is 813574 and it has all of these beautiful vintage shells and it just has like a really awesome texture on it it's just really beautiful and it has all these words like seashells um salt water um, sea waves like it's just really really beautiful and then the back of this again it's just sort of like a really muted basic neutral um, pattern and it has like a sort of like a newsprint on the yeah, back like a faded newspaper yeah yeah with some postcard really, writing yeah, just really really cool um so i really like that and then this one here let me turn it over it's called under the sea it just kind of reminds me of um little mermaid um <laughs> under the sea and it's 813635 <laughs> So that's really fun, and it, like again, it has the seashells. It has you know these words here: watch the waves, um, breathe the ocean air. I like this one: dig your toes into the sand. The color of this just says seaside. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really cute. And then the back, I love this back. It's just um, all of these postages and just really, really cute um, prints on there. So that's that one. And then we'll be using this one here. And this one reminds me of a dictionary for some yeah, reason. It does. It just reminds me of a, of a, like a botanical dictionary or something you would look at, like at a science book. It just, it's really cool. This one's called Seashell. And this one's 813567. Okay. So that's, that's a fun paper. And the back is just this really beautiful pattern here. Is this a Harley Quinn? Is it's that a nice Harley Quinn pattern. Yeah, 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 and really a really like light blue and a cream. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. Really cute. Really cute. And then finally, we're going to be using this one, and this one's called Shell Postage, and this one's 813604. And again, the seashells, a beautiful um, palette here with the browns and the, and the teal. And then I love this back. It's like a map. You guys know how much I love maps. And then, um, you know, there's a lighthouse here. There's some um, just really cool patterns on here. So that's some of the papers we'll be using. Okay. We're also going to be using some embellishments. Not too many, just a couple. 
We'll be using these um, resin frames. Love these. Um, perfect for coloring. Perfect for um, you know spraying any kind of any kind of medium on there. Um, and these are five seven two three five eight. We're also going to be using these Mercy um, flowers, and these are five six 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 eight five. Okay. And then we're also going to be using these. These are some of my favorite flowers. And you guys know, if you guys have to get my classes, I use these all the time. These are Charisse. And these are um, 558123 in the color white. Okay. They're beautiful. They have, um, like, what is that behind there? Like satin? and um, It has, like, beautiful. this furry thing. And yeah. I love it. Like, I just want to pet them. They're just so <laughs> cute. Yeah. Um, and this burlap sheet that Prima came out with, um, we do have a burlap sheet um, available, and this is an awesome um, material to work with. And this is um, uh, five seven one nine eight six. Really nice. Yeah, it's a really nice um, material, and I love that you can fray it. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. You can sew on it. You know, it's really fun. And then we're also going to be using um, our color bloom sprays. We're going to be using three colors: um, antique gold. Okay, we're going to be using. This one and this one's size seven three eight four three. We're also going to be using this one called Glistening Waves, okay? And um, this one is five seven three three. Wait, no, five seven three nine four two. Sorry, I'm not reading barcodes right today. And then this one, um, gold foil, and this one is five seven three eight zero five. Okay, so we're gonna start working on those, and Ken is, is gonna be helping me with that. Um, oh, and I'm also gonna be using some. Little Prima Roses. We do have Little Prima Roses available. Um, we do sell these in a larger package. And these are um, SA002 slash one. Okay? Um, so let me bring back the project over here so you guys can see again what we're going to be working with. Or what we're going to be working on. So I'm just taking your lead. You tell me what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> just you know, just... Yeah, hang around here. And then um, these are the tags. So we're going to be um, embellishing them with some real shells, which I have over here. And I got these. Um, I, I want to say that I actually went to the beach and got them. But I'm sorry, but I hate sand, which is actually, I'm not, I'm lying right now because I actually did go to the beach and took pictures um, <laughs> at the beach. But I was only there for like a, an hour and I didn't go into the water. And I hate the sand because it gets all over. But I did take beach pictures because I just thought it was appropriate for this collection. Um, you know. That's just how we roll. Um, but I did buy some seashells. But, I mean, if you have a, a beach near you, please go pick up seashells. They're just so much fun to work with. So this is just like a little souvenir bag of seashells. Yeah, yeah. You that just would get have it. like assorted seashells Yeah, in yeah. It. And they're just so much fun. And it's probably only a couple of bucks. Yes. It's only like a couple of dollars, two, three dollars. And you get like a bunch of seashells. And it saves you the the, the, the sand in your, <laughs> in your toes right. and all of that. Yeah. And, probably, and these are already clean. So there's not a snail yeah. inside. Oh, yeah. You know, actually, you know what? No. Um, actually, I opened one of these the other day. And there was one that was closed. Like, it, there was, see, this one's dirty. Um, there was one that was closed. And it had an animal in it? It had a dried up animal, but I was hoping it was going to have a pearl, but <laughs> no such luck. But anyway. The good thing is if you don't, if you're not near the beach, you can probably get these like at, uh, an import shop, like, a. Pier one or work yeah, or you or can something. get it at any craft shop. Any craft yeah, store yeah. should have seashells. So this is one of the tags, and we're also going to be doing this one here. And again, we're using um, those beautiful Prima flowers, and then this one. Wow. Okay, and then also um, this one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on these. I'm going to go ahead and bring um, my little shelves here, and I'm going to. Bring my little mat. I'm going to be using this mat because I don't want to ruin our lovely Prima mat here. And the first thing you want to start doing is you want to just pick out some um, shells here. Um, just a few. Let's see. I just like picking the pointy ones because those are really interesting. <laughs> They'll be nice in the composition. Yeah, they are. They, they are. Add they a add... nice focal point. Yeah, yeah, they are. So I'm going to. I don't know what those are called. I wish I knew what they were called. Um, whelks. There you go. These are little whelks. Yeah, there you go. See, I'm obviously I'm not a beach person, so I wouldn't really know. Um, so, oh my god, look at this one. This one's shiny. So I'm nice. Gonna, yeah, I'm not going to use that one. <laughs> I'm just going to save that one. And um, I think there should be plenty of shells. And then I'm going to take a paintbrush, which I should have somewhere in here. I'll just use this one. And I have some um, acrylic paint. Any acrylic paint will do. Um, the color I'm using is just a warm white. Um, and I'm just going to um, 
Ooh, put nice. some on my mat there. And I'm going to go ahead and paint the shelves. And I know a lot of you are going to have a heart attack right now because you're thinking, like, why would you do that? But I'm just, that's just how I roll. But this is going to give you, like, a nice consistent base coat. That's right. For, like, whenever you, we're going to apply some uh, color bloom later, right? Yes, we are. So we this are. is, like, a nice base coat. Yeah, the, this is. It's going to think we're priming them for um, a cool little color thing we're going to do later. So just going to go ahead and paint that. And um, if you... Wouldn't mind Ken just giving it a quick dry as we as we okay. um, paint them to make them dry a little better. And you just want to use a heat tool to dry them. Okay. And you can get really interesting shapes um, in these bags. Like they they really vary. Like you don't you never get the same shells in the same bag, which is awesome. So we want these to be dry before we put any other color on That's there. That's right. Okay. Yeah, we are drying them. If it was wet, they might bleed. Well, the color wouldn't show up as well. Yeah. And then since it's acrylic, you know, acrylic, when you add water to it, it's just kind of strange. Yeah. Um, it just waters it down. So we want to really get like a really nice matte finish on them. So this is the part where we're watching paint dry. This is the part where we're watching <laughs> paint dry, yeah. Uh, Okay, I think that's good. And then I, we might have to do it over here because I... Okay. Maybe, yeah. So let me move this over just a bit so you can do it on the actual right. bed. Okay. So we just have a couple more here to do. And um, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just really just run the brush really quickly on the shell. It doesn't have to be perfect. These look great. Yeah, they look pretty. How's everybody doing today? Is everybody crafting today or doing anything fun? I think the good thing is it's spring. The flowers are blooming. The sun's shining. Yeah. Well, actually, you know, it gets really hot in, in California. Oh, so yeah. So we always see sun here. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it is it is nice right now. It's not too hot. Although it was pretty hot a few um few days ago but so where are you from originally um ken i grew up in the midwest okay um in indiana oh fun southern indiana it's very beautiful very uh country there are dairy farms and barns and oh, and cornfields awesome and i heard you're moving right i am i'm moving back to indiana this month so where are you living now um, i'm in phoenix right now but i'm going oh to my be... god it's hot up there isn't it it's always hot oh there oh my god yeah so i'm looking forward to being back um uh, in the midwest it's That's beautiful there nice well we're excited to have you at prima well i'm excited to be here it's a great company to work with so everybody loves prima so I'm sure you'll love it too. And we have so many amazing products. We do. We just have so many cool things. And um, I love, love working with all of them. They're just great. And it just gives you more ways to create. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yes, this would be a perfect project for summertime. And I'm giving myself a manicure at the moment. So please do not mind <laughs> me. <laughs> okay. Just a couple more here, and I did have some that were um, already painted, so I'm just kind of giving them a quick little coat there. As these are drying, they look great, and I can see like what this priming them is doing. It's ba basically making a really nice backdrop it for is, the color bloom. It is, yeah. And you'll see right now when we work with the color blooms, you'll see the color variations that you get. It's just stunning. Oops. Well, yeah, Kim, you'll be teaching at yeah. Artventure. How exciting. Yeah, Are you I'm, excited? I'm very excited. I'm, I'm going to be at Artventure in Atlanta in um, October. Oh, and I'm really fun. excited about that. I have a lot of friends in Atlanta. So we're going to have a great time. We're going to offer some great classes. Mm -hmm. And um, if you are in the Southeast or anywhere, make sure that you plan to attend Art Venture in Atlanta because it's going to be an awesome event. Yeah. That's amazing. 
So what is your specialty, Ken? Like, what do you like teaching? You know, like, um, I do a lot of things. I do mixed media. Mm -hmm. I do some jewelry making. I do, um, I love to watercolor. Oh, cool. I love to stamp. I used to do watercolor when I was in college. Yeah. So I like really um, a broad uh, variety of artwork. Cool. And I like to bring some fine art techniques into our crafting. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that's always neat. Okay, just a couple of more here, guys. I know this is the boring part, but I promise you will love the ending result. It just really looks awesome. I'm using acrylic paint for that person who asked. Um, I'm using a, uh, a warm white paint. Yeah, I've seen some of your jewelry, jewelry can, and it's really nice. Um, very vintage, which is what I like. And i got to tell you, I'm just like in awe of your work. Oh, Every time I you. see a book or a box or anything, these tags, you have so much talent. Thank you. Thank I'm you. just in awe that. that I'm getting to sit here and work with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think this is good. I think we're just going to quickly dry this last one here, and then we'll be good to go. I'm uh, really excited about the next step because I know that we're going to color these with color bloom. Yeah, that's that's the exciting part. So we're just going to give those a quick little try there. We just got some white baby wipes here. I think that's good, Ken. Thank okay. you. So let me move these back over here. My arm's tired. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to move these over. And then let me just wipe up this paint really quick so we don't get any on our... You're good. I never clean anything. Oh, I, I'm... <laughs> yeah, I, I'm kind of worried about that. <laughs> I always just like um, keeping it clean. I always think, like, if I have a big mess, it looks like I'm really creative. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. Let me put this over here. All right. So now that we have our shells, you just want to kind of spread them out just so there's space in between them and um, they all get like a even little um, color. So I'm just going to kind of spread them out. And then I'm going to take um, my glistening waves and I'm going to take my gold foil. And I first want to go ahead and, and spray the glistening waves on there, okay? So it's just a light mist. Yeah, it's just really, you just want to kind of get it on there. And what happens is since since most of these shells have like a very um, slick surface, the, the ink will just run down. So what you need to do is you need to heat, heat it as you do that. So that way... You know why I think that looks cool? It looks like water running off of them. They do. Yeah, yeah they do. Because it, it goes down in the uh, texture of the shell. It does. And yeah. it looks like water running off of it. It's just really cool. Yeah. And this I love is a it. really neat color. I really love it. And then as you're drying it, you just want to go ahead and take the gold foil and then just go ahead and spray oh, that. Oh, that's wonderful. This one's kind of running away. Hi, Cheryl. Cheryl's on. Cheryl's one of our ambassadors. I see Eileen. Hi, Eileen. I think Eileen and I are going to like maybe get into, uh, I'm going to meet up with Eileen on the paper trail sometime this summer. Cool. I'm excited because she's going to be coming through my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So uh, Eileen, I hope we get to hang out and have some fun. That's awesome. So as you can see, like the, you start to get like different colors. And... Oh, nice. Mm. And I like how the gold looks like drops of water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just really cool. Okay, so you can see, like, you can get different different variations on the shells here. And I'm going to go ahead and dry these up. But you can see, like, it's just really, really beautiful. A really beautiful color. Okay. And I'm just going to give these a little bit more drying time. And I think that one needs a little bit on the other side. Oops. One thing that's really cool about the color bloom is they last a long time. 
They do. You get a lot of product for your money. And whenever it gets down, uh, you, you, can, add, it, yeah. you can add more water in it to actually give it more life. That's right, yeah. And yes, um, Scrapbook Diaries does have these um, sprays available for order. I think she's sharing the link there, as well as um, Scrapbook.com has some. Um, so you can find these um, it's in stores now. Um, Inez and Kara are asking for more blue. More blue? They want to see more blue. <laughs> I think it's kind of hard to see in the camera. So yeah, you can tell, like, they are pre they are pretty blue, actually. Yeah, they are. They are. I'll just put one up in the on the camera so you guys could see. It's just really stunning. Um, so I'm gonna move these out of my mat here just so to kind of let them dry a little bit while they. Do another baby wipe. Yeah, that might be good. I think we have it over here on this side. Okay. Thank you. I'm just going to go ahead and move these out of the way. Do we wipe the mat? Or are we going to do more things? We are going to spray a little bit more, okay. but we are going to spray something else. So I'm just going to move this. Wow, those look great. Yeah, they look they look pretty good. And it didn't take that long. If you notice, like we just went ahead and um, sprayed a little bit, and it didn't take that long at all. So that's always awesome. These baby wipes are very dry. Like, a baby would be very, very angry with these. <laughs> the ch chapped baby. <laughs> yeah. I think the bottom ones are more damp. Well, it would help if these weren't open, right? <laughs> do you want some water? I think we'll be good. Okay. okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my frames now that we're spraying. Um, I'm going to be using this um, rectangular one in the heart. And I'm going to go ahead and put these on there. Oh, is this what the antique gold is for? Yes. Can I do it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so just spritz it on there? Yeah, but let me remove that. Okay. Yeah. So just lightly spritz yeah. them? Well, what I do is I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and saturate these with okay. that color. So you want to kind of do it a little bit closer. Yeah, there you go. You just get them all the crevices yeah. filled? Yeah, okay. and then we're going to go ahead and start drying them. So once this dries, it's like water. It's uh, set? It is. It is. Um, You can definitely give it like a coat of, you know, like a protector, like a mm -hmm. clear acrylic or anything like that. But it really, like, if you notice on the tag, like, it's it's pretty much there. Yeah. There's nothing really. So what we're going to do is as they dry with this color, okay, I'm going to go in with my glistening waves and give it that patina effect. So what this is doing, like, when you add layer color on color and dry in between, it's it, like, gives yeah. you layers. It makes mm -hmm. it look like age. I love it. Do you want to spray a little more of that brown? Um, okay. Can? That's good. And then, um, obviously, this um, you work it. I mean, it's not going to happen in the first. You know, I, I, you know, you literally have to like just sit there and see what looks good to you. You know what I mean? So you have to kind of move it around and spray it a little more. Like you know, maybe this. Just a little more of that. I like and it because then, you can see a little bit of the white color through. That's right. And yeah. it looks like age. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to spray a little bit of that. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, it really adds a different... Um... And the and the yellow just kind of brings out a little bit of yeah. a green in there. It highlights yeah, it. Yeah, so, and then you can do it really close if you just want to do it sectional. Someone says they're really enjoying your presence in the show. Oh, I'm happy to be here, Carrie. This is, <laughs> this is beautiful. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab something here just to move some of the color. No, I'm just gonna move these. Sorry, I'm I'm a bit of a weenie when it comes to heat. Like I got burned yesterday when I was doing my tags, and yeah, not not fun. <laughs> so you made ta you made these tags yesterday. Yeah. And you just traveled back from Wisconsin. Yeah, it was crazy. You're busy. Yeah. Oh, I love the effect that this is giving. Yeah, yeah. So and all we've done is layered three colors on the resin frame. That's right. That's it's beautiful. Right. And they look like antiques that you would find on your grandmother's sofa table. That's right. That's right. And now what you could do a neat trick is some of the some of the ink will puddle in there. So what I like to do is I like to just grab like a paper towel or something and then just kind of put the paper soak towel in there and soak it up.
just so there's not a lot in there. And then you can go back with your heat tool and just dry that. Even that gives a cool effect. Yeah. Wow. These are stunning. Yeah, they look great. I'll show them right now once it's completely dry. Now what I like to do is I like to go ahead and um, if there's any white spots, I like to just kind of run my finger through them. Mm -hmm. Just like to kind of cover up some of that. Some of that. Yeah, and you've got ink on the mat or yeah. color bloom or on the mat. Or you can just spray a little bit more on there if you wanted to. Okay, so I just kind of want to give you guys a close-up. I know it's not 100% dry, but that's a really neat effect. Like, this is this reminds me of an old ship window. Mm -hmm. Like, a, like just really rusted and old, and it's just been hit with ocean water, like, for years, and it's never been cleaned. <laughs> it's beautiful, though, because you can't see it. It yeah. does look like salt air has tarnished it. Yeah, yeah, it's just really nice. And then we have our little hearts here. Oh, that's gorgeous. It just looks really beautiful. Oh my god, please excuse my dirty fingers. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to give this one a quick try. Actually, can you mind drying this one? Oh, sure. just 100% there. And I'm going to remove the mat now so we can start working on the tags. And I'll clean this up later. Okay, so as Ken um, dry so I'm going to take my tags and I'm going to work on the first one here. And the first one I want to work on is the one with the the heart um, resin. So I'm going to take my tag and I'm going to take my tape runner here. And I don't particularly like this tape runner, but this is the one I have here. Ooh, that kind of went bad. Okay, never mind. Let me use another one. I just can't figure out what the width is. Okay, that's. See? Oh, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's strange. about a half inch, so it is wide. Yeah, it is pretty wide, so I'm just going to do it a little bit. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and cover the tag with this paper here, but we want the postage from the back, so I'm going to go ahead and just put that in the back of this. I'm just going to remove that tape from there. I think they're good now. Oh, I think I burnt the table. <laughs> Sorry. You burnt the table. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had that happen before. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Look at you, cutting straight lines with scissors. You're good. No, everybody knows I'm a horrible fuzzy cutter. <laughs> I don't fuzzy cut, but thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim these. Um, gonna, maybe I should just cover all the tags now so we can just... Do you want me to do some? Yeah, that would okay. be nice. So I'm going to use this one. And we're covering the next tag with um, this one here with the shells. That's the one we're going to cover it with. So, so the shell is going to be the on outside. The, on the outside, right. yeah. And then we just punch the hole here on here. And now on this one, I'm going to go ahead and use this paper here. I'm, I want this um, kind of ornate ATC, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and trim that out. Really like that one. That's cute. I'm gonna borrow your scissors. Yes, please do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take that, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, take my foam tape. Come to me. 
That always happens to me in my workspace. I can't find a pair of scissors, and I know that I have 20 there, but I just can't find them. Okay, so I'm going to take some foam tape, and I'm going to just go ahead and um, tape this to the center of the tag. So put that one. Oh, I need Thank to punch you. out the hole. There's a thing there. Thank you. You want to make sure you get all of the corners and everything. Oh, these are just stunning. Even uh, with just the paper, they're stunning. Yeah, the paper is really beautiful. Yeah. So you don't really have to do much. And then I'll give you the next one, Kim, so you can help me cut that one out. Okay. Too. We're doing one with the front of this. Okay. Let's see the tag. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more tape on the bottom here. This is exciting. Thank you for letting me come in oh, today. Oh, no, thank you for I didn't coming. know I was going to get to craft. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah, it's, it's fun. So I'm going to remove those um, tape protectors here, and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere the center of the tag. So I'm going to put it in the middle here. Now, when you're putting this tape on, do you get right up to the edge of the tag? I try to, yeah, okay. but I know it's sometimes hard to do that. So. And then this is the front side? Or this? Um, the front side is the blue. Okay. So All we're right. using this one to cover the next tag. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my heart um, resin here. It's nice and dry. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of foam on the back of it so it's slightly raised. Oh, this is going to be great. I missed the spot with... I missed the spot. I don't know if I missed the spot. Oh, so you're using the, the ATC cutouts to go right on the tag. Right. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, I think it adds a little bit of dimension. And stuff. So I'm putting the pieces of tape on there. Just gonna go ahead and remove that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this towards the top of the tag, right about there. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Cherise flower. What's that? Lovely. And I got one more? Yeah. Um, here we go. All right. And that's going to be with this one. And I think I used the upper right. Okay. That. That's the front. Right. And I am going to do a little bit more spraying on here, so I may have to bring back my mat. Okay. So you have your um, heart, and then I'm going to go ahead and spray these Charisse flowers. Okay, and I'm spraying them with the same color. Okay, I'm spraying with a little bit of blue and a little bit of this yellow. Okay, and you just want to go ahead and spread the color in there, make sure that it gets all in there. And you're gonna get a really nice, they almost look oh. like. And I'm using the same colors I used on the shells. Okay, and then we're gonna give those a quick dry. That is amazing. Yeah, they look neat. I really love how the um, color bloom reacts on the fabric. Yeah, it just makes it look really, really stunning. So this way you could use any of your color blooms to match any color palette that you want that's to right. use so if, if you use white flowers. Yeah, that's right. If you have any white flowers that you might have never you know, used or that don't match your project, you could always make them match. this one. Is that right? Thank you, yeah. I'll just leave them over there because I don't want to mm. get them all. Gotcha. 
Oh, I'm color blooming. So now I have the flower, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my Prima knife, and th this is what I like to call, I'm just combing the hairs of the flower. Because <laughs> it does have some, like, furry parts to it, so I just like to, like, spread those little hairs out. So it just separates them. Yeah, because so they, they kind of get stuck a little bit because of the spray, but that's fine. It makes it look kind of like seaweed. So that's what it looks like. It's very beautiful. And then um, we have the smaller one. Okay, I'm gonna give this one a little bit of a quick dry. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my Mercy. Now that I'm doing this, I'm gonna spray it. Do you wanna help me spray these? Yes, I love spraying. <laughs> okay, I noticed. <laughs> So we're gonna which color first, the blue? Um, I always do the blue first because okay. the blue, and then um, so this is glistening waves, right? And you just did it lightly. Yeah, and you want to do it very closely. That's good. And then you want to do this one. Ooh, that's a lot. Is that all right? It's okay. Okay. And I'm just gonna go in a little bit with this one. Nice. This one needs a little bit more of that. Nice. I mean, I'm never scared when I spray. You know, I realize that, you know, sometimes you're going to get more color or less right. color, but that's okay. You can always work it out. I'm going to go ahead and dry these. Oh, they're nice. Yeah, and these pick up the color really well. I, that's why I like fabric flowers, because they really pick up color really well. I think they're, that's a little bit better. I'm just going to go Nice. Yeah, they really look really pretty. And so because these are made of net, they almost remind me of like a fisherman's net. That's right. You yeah. know, like yeah. you would see at the sea. You might see a little piece of it wash up on the shore. <laughs> yeah. And these dry pretty quickly, guys. If you went on the sand. <laughs> <laughs> if I did, it went, uh, yeah, no. Not happening. <laughs> Um, these dry very quickly, so make sure you don't burn them, okay? Because they really do dry very quickly, like literally like they're, they're already dry. Oh, those are nice. So now you've created like custom flowers. That's right. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this thank you can. And then I have my flower here. It's just really nice and <clears throat> colorful. So we have everything we need to get started on this tag here. So now that we have this tag, I'm gonna go ahead and take my hot glue gun, because I'm a hot glue guy, hot glue gun kind of guy. And this is a major hot glue gun. It's like... It's the pro. Yeah. So I'm going to take a shell here, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in the middle of this heart. Okay? It's one of the shells that we went ahead and painted. I just, I'm just careful with this one, because this one's very hot. That's okay. nice. It's like a frame for your shell. Yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and take some of those pointy um, shells and just kind of frame that on there. And you, you'll you'll be surprised how these shells just kind of work with each other. Like even though they're all different, they kind of just work. Like they just they just work. Well, because they're shapes from nature that are organic, That's right? And they work together. Okay, and I'm gonna put another one down here. Okay, maybe one more. Mm, I'll take this one here. So by using the pointing ones, you kind of like create a spray. That's right. Ew, don't do that hot glue gun. <laughs> okay, so now we have those shells on there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my smaller Charisse flower I'm going to go ahead and put some glue in the middle, and I'm just going to go ahead and squish it in there, just like that. Just kind of arrange it just a little bit. Wow. That is gorgeous. Thank you. And then um, under it, I just kind of want to put a shell. So before I do that, I'm going to take um, some burlap that I have cut. 
I have a few pieces of burlap here, and I'm just going to try to cut this as straight as I can. And I'm just going to fray it just a little bit, and this is um, really easy to fray. Just kind of pull those threads apart, and they just kind of create... It's a nice burlap. It has like a fine texture. It is. It is. <laughs> What's a shape thrower? Okay. I thought you guys were talking about a flamethrower. Um, okay. So now I have this little piece of burlap that I went ahead and cut. And I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. And I like it because it's like a little carpet. Like, that's really what I was thinking about when I put this on there. Like, you know, like a carpet or maybe like a little towel that you put on the sand. A beach or mat. A beach mat. Yeah, one of those. So I'm putting that down here. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of these shells and I'm going to go ahead and um, put it under Charisse here, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take some glue. And with these shells, since they're like, concave you have to kind of put a lot of glue on there and be very careful because you can get burned like I did um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze that one in there and the glue will seep down at some point so then you don't have to worry about it it'll stick there wow stunning and that's basically it okay so that's the first tag I'll go ahead and move this over and if Ken can hand me the next one uh, which one do you do next? Um, I don't know. I think we'll do the seahorse one next. So that's this one. So we'll do this one. I'm gonna move all this. So, um, can can you cut this off for me? Sure. So now we're gonna be using this little guy here with the with the seahorse. Oh, use the trimmer or scissors? I use the trimmer for that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> good. Yeah. No, I'm not that that skilled with. The no, scissors, you're good. No. You're good. I'm going to take another little piece of this burlap and I want to do a little bit of a carpet again. Okay. And I'm going to take some of my foam tape here while Ken does that. Yeah, you know, I'm usually, you guys know me, like, I don't do a lot of bright colors, but this collection just really, really inspired me. Like, I just felt so inspired to make tags. Thank you, Ken. And, um, you know, I was, Denny, I was just talking to Denny about it, and Denny was like, you know, you really like this collection, huh? And I'm like, yeah, I really like the way the colors work. Like, cause they're neutral, but they're, they're nice and cheery. They're not depressing. <laughs> because you have the gold and the brown in there, it's kind of a warm yeah. neutral. It's nice. I'm just putting some foam tape in the middle here, and I and I always like to put an, enough foam tape so it doesn't kind of um, sink. So sometimes I mess up because I don't measure, but it's okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. Yeah, I think those are my favorite papers to um, Tracy. Do you like the happy song, Ken? They're talking about the happy song. What's the happy song? The Pharrell song. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, be happy. Um, Is that it? I don't know. I don't think that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the one that, that's, that's been playing everywhere. Can you sing it for me? I don't think I can sing it for you. I know you were going to ask me that. I don't think I stuck this straight enough. I like the one that's uh, Don't Worry, Be Happy. That one's fun. Okay. So we have this on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my little carpet first. I'm going to go ahead and put that down here at the bottom. And I may have to just cut this just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on there. I'm going to center it. Nice. And then I'm going to go ahead and take um, my shells. And on this particular tag, what I did is I didn't really plan the um, the shells, what I did, I just kind of went ahead and put them down first before the flower, which is very interesting because I normally don't do that. And I'm going to go ahead and put this guy here. <clears throat> and I'm going to take, I don't know, maybe one of these. 
What are they saying? I'm a bit last week in my music knowledge. Or <laughs> That's funny. True. So you're just like arranging these, almost like you're make, just making kind of like a nice composition. Yeah, just it's really, and it's really, um, I have to say, it's really um, relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know why, but I just love this. Well, it seems like it's also kind of intuitive that the shells just kind of fit together. Yeah, it's like a puzzle. It's really, it's really interesting, actually, because I never really thought that they would fit together. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this project now. Yes, I love it. It's really fun. Um, and then after that, you want to take one of the Mercies, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this one here. But I think I want the larger one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put some in the middle, some hot glue. And I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze it down here. Okay, just fluff it up a little bit, make sure it's nice, nice and soft. And then I'm going to go ahead and take another tag, I mean another tag, another um, shell, and just kind of put that on there, under that flower there, just to make sure that... So you just mount the glue inside the shell and just... Yeah, the shallow ones, you kind of have to do that because yeah. it's hard to get it on the edge. And I don't like, I'm so anal about things, I don't like it when it seeps, seeps out. out. right. Yeah, so um, the glue will fall down, you know, and mm -hmm. it'll just make it stick. Okay, so now that we have that, um, I'm going to go ahead and put a little rose in between the shells. So these are shells that are like maybe out in the, out on the lake or something, because obviously <laughs> flowers don't grow on these, but you know, it's okay. And I am removing the greens off of this. It's, yeah, that's something you're gonna learn from me. I don't like the greens on these, and everybody's gonna start talking about it in 10 seconds. Just watch. And I save these for Carrie. Because Carrie likes the greens, so I I will mail her a giant box of green leaves at some point. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little dab of glue there, and then just go ahead and stick that in there. Oh, nice. Okay, and then maybe I'm gonna... I think there are some seaside roses. Yes, there yeah. is. I just like <clears throat> these because they're small. Denny singing. <laughs> I need to hear that. Okay, I think I like that. And no tag will be the same because obviously the shells will vary. And that's what's really fun about this project. Um, our friend Chalk Labs wants some greens too, so if you have extra, you can send it to Chalk Oh, Labs. trust me, I have a lot. <laughs> okay. Okay, Carrie's clapping now. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put one more here. <clears throat> I kinda like that. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. No, it's beautiful. And I think that one needs a little bit more mist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a brush. Oh, good idea. Just put on a brush. Um, yeah. Let me just spray you a little bit over here. It's okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of that color. This brush is terrible, but it's okay. It's doing a job. <laughs> and then I'm going to take a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm going to take a little bit of that gold. And just go ahead and put a little bit of that on there. Okay, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and dry it. I know, we should have Carrie just make something with the box of green leaves. <laughs> just make a little... <laughs> like an outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Something. Okay, so that's the other tag. Okay, and what I also did, um, and I kind of want to do that at the end because it just takes so much time, but um, we're going to put some glossy accents on here because oh. the original tag has glossy accents that look like bubbles. Oh, yeah, like little drops of water even. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. So we're going to do that at the end. Um, so here's the other tag. So I'll go ahead and put this aside here. Okay, what's next, Ken? What's next? We have another tag to make. Let's do this one with the blue seashells. Okay, so that one's fine. 
And then I'll have you cut this out for me. Oh, this one. Can you go ahead and cut this one out with the, looks like a little, like a, like like a map. map. Yeah, so go ahead and cut that out for me really quick. And then I'll go ahead and cut some more foam tape while I do that. Frank, I love these projects. Can I teach this as a class? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Isn't I, it fun? Yeah, I, seriously, I love it. Yeah, I'm actually going to be teaching. I'll show you guys at the end, but I have a book that I'm going to be teaching in Sweden. And um, it's using a similar technique. Um, but instead of tags, we made a book. I'm really excited about teaching that. <clears throat> oh, your blog. You're sharing your blog, Ken. I hope you have something good up there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Because I know I haven't updated my blog in a while. You know, I, oh. taught, I taught, taught a couple of mixed media classes a couple of weeks ago. So you're safe. Okay. Some of the student works were really beautiful, and I was really proud of uh, the way that the students who I've been able to be blessed to be around are mm -hmm. able to create some amazing work. Yeah, people are great. I just, yeah. you know, I went to Wisconsin, and people were so lovely there. And that's a new store, right? It is a new store. Yeah. They, they just got the store, and um, the store owners are super sweet, and they... Um, they had me at their store for National Scrapbook Weekend, and um, those people were so sweet. They were so eager to learn. They loved Prima products. So it's always fun to see people um, get excited for stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this in the center here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take my um, my rectangle, rectangle frame. <laughs> oh, God. Where's the pictures from Paper Niche? Um, yes, I am working on a blog post for Florida and Wisconsin together because, you know, might as well do it together. Are you a prolific blogger? I try to be. Um, yeah? Yeah, I try to keep my blog updated. But, you know, you know how it goes. It just, right. you get busy and all this stuff. But whenever I come back from trips, I like to just recap. And sometimes I've done recaps like 30 days later. So, okay. <laughs> but they're there, you know. Yeah. Um, but, yes, I will do Paper Niche soon. Everybody loves Prima. When are you going to uh, Sweden? I am going to be in Sweden um, from the 14th to the 26th, I think. That's awesome. Yeah, it'll be fun. And the list of stories is on my blog. I'm going to go ahead and center this frame here. I just love the f that frame. Yeah. It just turned out so pretty. It's gorgeous. Well, and with the star above it, too, it like just kind of sets it off. <laughs> Carrie is funny. <laughs> Your blog was updated on Monday. Okay, then I'm I'm okay. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna take this giant seashell, and I always like using um, larger um, shells for this. I'm gonna just go ahead and put some glue in there, and I'm gonna put that in the center here, just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and take some other ones that can go on the side. Did that stick? I hope it did. So kind of the same technique as before. Yes. We're just making it a bit different. You're here. just going to frame one and then like make an arrangement of shells right, around it. Right, right, right. And I'm just going to put the other one next to it. I love how this looks because it's kind of like barnacles. Yeah, they look pretty cool. All right. So you don't want too many on this one. You just want like, you know, I think I only use three. And I'm going to take this small little Mercy. Okay. Can I answer that question? What yeah, colors go ahead. did you, uh, to, on the frame, Frank used, uh, Gold foil. I think I can hold that up a little bit. And glistening waves. And one more antique gold. Thank you, Ken. I'm taking another little piece of burlap, and I want this one to be really small. Just because it looks cute. I just like that. It looks like a carpet. Like, it just reminds me of, like, Hawaii or something. And I've never been to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> but it reminds me of those carpets that they have in those hotels, you know, that are, like, kind of made out of, like, straw or something. Yeah, like, like rush, yeah, rushes like, or yeah, I don't rattan know. or something. Yeah, it just reminds me of that. I don't know why. That looks cute. And I'm going to take a little tiny shell. I'm going to put it right there because I think that looks really cute. And everything's sticking to this hot glue gun, so that's kind of weird, but it's okay. I'll get some of the trash out of the way. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's like, it looks like it's furry. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's, yeah, no. Um, 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this one. Oh my god, I love this one. Look at that little shell, it's so cute. This one is so pretty. It's gorgeous. And we're gonna add some <clears throat> some details. I hope Carrie doesn't mind that we're going over. I mean, I always go over anyway, so it's not. Wow, it's already that time? Mm, yeah, but I usually go over like all the time. So she always um, knows that I go over and she probably... <laughs> no, she doesn't mind. She's okay. Okay, so the next tag, we have one more left. Ken, I yeah. think. Oh yeah, where is, oh, it's this one. It's like a, almost like a damask with the gold. Yeah, and this brown. one's nice. Okay, and then I have one more sheet. Okay, this one here. See, Ken is on it. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape on there. And you can see that it, um, with the same technique, but you get different looks. Like I, I like the way that the paper just really lends itself to different types of looks. I mean, I could really see this. This collection being used in different ways is just so fun. Oh, I want to make these tags now. In fact, I have to. I'm you have to. to. Yes, yeah. you should. Yeah. I want to teach as a class. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it, because they're beautiful, and it's the summer season, and we're all gonna want to go to the beach or to the lake, and it's just it's perfect. Yeah, they're fun. Frank, is, I don't know if I would agree with that, Chalk Labs. <laughs> <laughs> She's saying that um, you get away with everything. No, I don't get away oh. with everything. <laughs> I th yes, you do. Actually, yes, I do. Yeah, you do. I love Carrie. She's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, just taking off that last strip here. Oh, Carrie does bring up a good point. Like the uh, burlap is so good; it's die cuttable, it's mistable. You can use it in a lot of different ways. Yeah, you can. Other than you know, just like uh, cutting a piece of it, you could cut a shape with it too. Other than making a carpet. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> or a beach mat. <laughs> yeah, or a beach mat. Okay, now on this one here, um, I have a lot going on on this one, so I'm first gonna go ahead and adhere my flowers. So that way, I can work around it. And this one just has a little loose pearl. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that down. <clears throat> So when I work with my flowers, I always like to work with the large ones first, because then that way you can work around them. Mm -hmm. So so that becomes like your focal point. Carrie's saying I'm naughty. You are naughty. No, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put that in the corner here, and then I'm going to go ahead and take another one of my Mercy flowers. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that on the side. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and work the rest of the shells that I have left here. So I'm going to probably put this one on there but before I do that I'm just gonna cut a little another piece of that little burlap that I have oh, here it is just gonna cut that up is it gonna be a beach mat it is or a towel oh whatever yeah something I just I like the texture of it I just think it it's adds fun. yeah it just adds something different to the Today's class wasn't posted. Um, it was, but there was no pictures for it because um, I was jet lagged. You were on an airplane. <laughs> I was <clears throat> jet lagged. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there before I put my seashell. Frank is nice. Oh, hi, Solange. Solange is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on there, and I'm just gonna go ahead and saturate that with glue. Ooh, popping happening. You know what I get scared of? I get scared that it's going to get so hot in the shell that it's just going to break and it's going to, like, land on my neck or something. The glue? <laughs> no, the, the shell. Oh. Don't be afraid. No? Okay, I won't. Oh, that shell's really nice. I know, I saved it because I thought, okay, this is a cool shell. I'm just going to put that on there. And then I'm going to work the other ones in. Hi, Ayla. Oh my god, Ayla from Sweden. She's awesome. Okay, putting that on there. I like this little tiny one. This one's cute. <clears throat> and then I have um, one of these up here. And I like using these because see how there's like those yeah. right there? So, but I don't know where I want to put Those it. are bivalves. 
because they open like this. There you go. See, you know, I, I don't know anything. I'm kind of... I'm not a beach person, but <laughs> I like this. I don't know why. See, I would be a beach person if, if there was no sand. I See, I love the beach. I can't stand the sand. Like, mm. it just... Yeah, no. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then we have that. And then I have a few shells left over. I think I might want to put one of them in here. So that's good. And then we had a few left over here. That's okay. I'm going to take some of these little roses, just a couple, and just glue some on. Do you want to pull the greens off? That would be amazing. I'm saving these for you, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I pulled the whole flower apart. Yeah, you have to be careful. There's, this is an art, I have to say. It is. <laughs> the art of green picking. The, the, the art of green picking. <laughs> gonna be my next class <laughs> how to pick the greens now you know what's funny like I, I have to be honest like whenever I go to classes now that people go to my classes I don't even tell them like they we start know. working on flowers and then they start peeling them off and I'm like oh they learned oh that's cool <laughs> look I mean they come off easily and um, you can keep them together you know what annoys me like I think I've said this like really like a million times but sometimes the greens don't match oh really no, I'm saying, like, they just don't match with the project you're working on. Oh, I see, I see. So that's why I pick them off. But sometimes, like, they, they're okay to leave on. And I know people like them, so, you know, it's okay. It's just a preference. I like leaves. But well, they look perfect on this without. Yeah. No one comes to London. There you go, Ken. That's you. I, I'll love to. I'm planning to come this year. There are stores all around the UK uh, where we could uh, have classes and seminars. There you go. So you guys are going to see more oh, of Ken. I'm supposed to be grabbing your scraps. <laughs> saving them. I'm for saving Carrie. them. All right. So that's that one. Wow. It's heavy. I like it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up really quick. If you can help me with that, Ken. Got and it. then I'm going to bring back the ones we just did. I see. Is there seam binding to go on there? Yes, and there's oh. also a couple of other little details that we're missing. Um, can you hand me this here? Oh yeah, these big pearls. So I'm a big pearl addict. I have too many pearls at home, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of these gold pearls. They're just glass pearls. Um, I have a couple of small ones here. Here you go. Okay, thank you. And I'm gonna put some on here with the where the heart is. <clears throat> then we'll just pretend like they're real pearls. Oh, they're beautiful though. When I saw them, they reminded me of like bubbles, like in the in the sea foam, mm -hmm. like bubbles in the water in the sea foam. Because they're so, uh, they're rich color. Yeah, I love that color. It's really pretty. Oh, Angelica, that's a really interesting offer. So you're just putting like a little cluster of three in there for... Yeah, I just like to like cluster. I mean, you can put them wherever. I think I put them differently on the, on the original tag, but I just like the way they look kind of clustered together. I'm just going to put one more here. And it seems like they kind of fit, that you intuitively kind of find the place where they fit in between yeah, the shelves. Yeah, yeah, they do. So kind of like that. Wow. That's nice. It's beautiful. I just, I just bought some pros because of you. <laughs> you guys are so nice. Okay, so now the last touch for this, and um, I know everybody hates me because I do this. Actually, I have... Oh, it's time for glossy accents. Time for glossy accents. So I'm gonna on this seahorse one. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, use some glossy accents, 
And thank God this wasn't clogged, because otherwise I would have had a heart attack. I'm just going to go ahead and create little bubbles. Just by putting them down. And these don't have to be like the same size. It can be various no, sizes. No, it could be various sizes, yeah. Wow, that's great. Yeah, they look pretty neat. <clears throat> okay, and I think I put some on this one too. How long does that take to set? Probably about 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to show them up close, um, Ken, while I do this one? So here uh, with the seahorse tag, uh, Frank has added some glossy accent bubbles. Let me see if I can get it in the light so you can see them. So it just makes like a really nice three-dimensional bubble uh, that's nice and clear. You can see through it. But yeah, it's like dimensional detail on there. Yeah, it's a really nice little neat thing. And now, um, and here we've got it right in the top there. It's kind of hard to see with the it camera, is. but they're there. <laughs> but they look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Um, my sickles, and I have my sickles in diamond. This is my favorite color, by the way. Same. And I'm just going to grab some on my finger, and I'm just going to add it to all of the shells. And that just adds a little bit of sparkle. Oh, just like a glistening, iridescent dust almost. Yeah, yeah. And I also like to add it to the frame here, the that resin frame. Just add oh, a little yeah, bit. Oh yeah, it really makes it pop. You can yeah. see the detail in it now. Just adding some more to these. Oh, I really like this one here. Well, wow, it's that final detail that really gives this a lot of juice. It just really makes yeah, it pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks good. You're the best. Oh, thank you. You should say that out loud. Carrie is listening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to move these to the side just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and just do one of them just so you guys see what I'm going to do. But I'm going to go ahead and add um, liquid pearls and gold. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and add it around all of the ATCs that we put on there while um, Ken entertains you. Oh, I see. What, I'm going to grab the finished one and kind of show what it'll look like when you get done. Because now I see, and what Frank's doing is going around the edge of each tag with the gold uh, stickles. And you see right here, like it just makes a nice row, almost like studs or beads right on the tag. It really, it's that little detail that really makes this elegant. Oh, see, that's beautiful. So you're just putting drop by drop by drop. Yeah, I'm kind of crazy like that, but. You have a steady hand. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just practice, I guess. Does it help if you lay your head on the table like that? Um, <laughs> is my head in the way? No. Okay. No. I do have a pretty big head. Yeah, I think it adds a little bit of a touch. That's a good technique to use like um, in another project. If you're using like a different color palette or something like that, you could also you could take this to another project and get the same effect. Right. <laughs> the tiny stream pros. <laughs> yeah. No one does this. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, she says, can make boo. I think that means I'm supposed to scare you. Boo! Oh. <laughs> oh, you've got a steady hand. You didn't even jump. No, yeah. You can see um, Frank has his head on the table. <laughs> I'm very close to the tag. Yeah. I can almost smell it. But I think that that's good because like, it lets you place each drop exactly where you want it. 
I'm not going to do all four because that, that would drive people crazy, but I just wanted to do one so you guys can see what I did. Is it going to go all the way around there? Yeah. Sorry. You know, like, uh, because it's gold, it uh, reminds me, like, on sales and things like that, you know, like, they'll be riveted with brass rivets mm -hmm. or brass studs. Um, and a lot of things like that you would take to the beach might have, like, uh, brass studs or rivets on it. So that's what it reminds me of. It's great. Yeah. So there you go. This is what it'll look like. That is gorgeous. Uh, the stuff that uh, Frank just put on the shelves is called stickles. It's and on stickles the, yeah, and it's stickles. diamond. And this is the uh, liquid pearls. On this camera? Okay, there we go. Okay, and now um, the final thing, I'm going to put this one aside because it's kind of wet. Um, I'm going to take some seam binding. So that's going to be used to make like this end part. Or that's the, right, yeah. Or the... Uh, string on the tag. So you've got white or natural colored string bi seam binding there. Yeah. We're going to color it. Yes, we're going to color it. And we're going to use the same colors we've been using. Perfect. Um, and let me just move this so I don't get the spray on there. Do you want the mat again or we're we just going to spritz on there? We're just going to go wild. Here. Okay. Um, do you have that little paper? Yeah. Okay, that, that one? It's right here. Okay. Thanks. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on there. Oops, I was about to, I was about to spray So you're just going to use the, uh, the gold and the blue? Yeah. I'm and it just gonna, takes a bit, right? Yeah, it just takes a little bit. Are we going to heat set it too? We are, but I'm just going to go ahead and just like... Toss I, it? I feel like I'm doing like a like a pasta or something, you know? <laughs> Do you cook pasta with your fingers? Um, no. <laughs> See, that's how you know that I don't cook. <laughs> What's so funny? You just asked me if I do pasta on my finger. <laughs> hey, I don't know. It might be a fresh pasta. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. I like how this color on the seam binding looks. Yeah, it looks Because neat. it makes the cloth look almost like it's tarnished yeah, and it's aged nice. by the sea air. And what I like is that once you dry it, because right now it's so saturated, it'll, it'll, um, it'll, um, become, and I'm going to go ahead and, um, just, Really make it just yeah. Very okay. dry. Yeah. Well, have we really been on here over an hour? We have. The time just goes really fast. It does. Oh, see, tossing a salad. See, someone's with me. Oh yeah, like tossing a salad. Yeah. yeah. Or that's how I do my hair. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that explains a lot, right? Yeah, no, no, I just, yeah. <laughs> yes, if you don't have color blooms, you need them, like, right now. Like, you need to go run. Yeah, no. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and just really crinkle it as much as I can. Just so it looks very old and, you know. And you can see that it just looks really pretty. The color's nice. Yeah, it's still kind of damp. And, just really nice. and depending on how you dry this, you can uh, let it dry with the creases in it. Yeah. So that it looks really, really wrinkled. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm just going to get... How many pieces... How many texts do we have? Four. Five. We four. Did four. Four. Okay, so one, two, I'm horrible, okay? <laughs> Three, four. <laughs> You're good. Okay, so now, okay, this is the original. I'm going to take one that's not wet, and I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, Make a little loop? Yeah. So there's the first one. 
It looks cute, doesn't it? Really nice. Make that middle seam binding on the top. You mean to it? Yeah. So just make the whole loop, stick it through, and then pull the tails through the loop. That's right. Oh, beautiful. You could even fray those ends up if you wanted to a little bit. Yeah. Nice. And then I was going to do that one. That one's kind of wet, so I don't want to mess with it. But yeah, you would put the other one on that. And then remember, you, you put the liquid pearls um, all around the um, center of this um, ATC. So you would want to put them all around. And that's it. That's all you need to do to make these beautiful tags. Just short under an hour, because we did kind of talk in the beginning. Right? Yeah. Turned out cute, right? The, the projects are gorgeous. Thank you. So let me just pan the camera up really quick. Um, Thanks sure for letting me come in and join you. today. I've really enjoyed crafting with you. Yeah, it's been thank fun. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions before we go? Oh, I do want to show you guys. That you can apply this technique to most things. I have this box that I made. Um, and this is for my project in Sweden. Wow. Um, so you can actually make... Um, different things with the same technique. So I have the box and then um, the top here, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, so it's the same flowers. It's the same type of flowers, yeah. Same shells. Yeah, and um, and then you open it up. Do you want me to hold it while you do that? Oh. You're so nice. Oh, and I have like little keys on the side, which is very oh, cute. Yeah. I found this chain that looks like rope. I just thought that was interesting. And then I went ahead and hinged. Um, and then inside there's a book. And then this is a book we're doing in Sweden. Nice. Can I have the box? <laughs> and then we have the seam binding and everything. So but you can apply this technique to, you know, mostly anything, really. Right. Everything that you did today is in, is in all in this box. Mm -hmm. It is gorgeous. Thank you. So that's the same type of thing. And yeah. Awesome. All right. So let me go ahead and um, I have a few announcements before we go. Um... Ken Oliver has joined the Prima team. We did say that in the beginning. So if you don't know Ken, he's joined Prima. Um, Ken will be teaching at Adventure Atlanta in October 2014. So that's right. exciting. Right. Um, details of, about the event will be posted on Prima's Facebook page. So go ahead and um, check that out. Stay tuned and welcome to the team, Ken. Thank you. Um, Art Venture California registration is open. So join us for this fabulous Primatastic event in January, 6 and 7 in Anaheim, right before the CHA Winter Super Show um, 2015. So make sure you guys are there. I'll be there again because it's awesome and it's super fun. So I hope to see you guys there. Um, the next show coming up is my dear Steph Miller. Um, she's going to be... Um, creating an adorable gift for Mother's Day. Um, it's going to be on May 8th um, at 6.30 Pacific Standard Time. Um, and then Prima announced its annual design team call. Um, go to the Prima blog for more details on how to submit. This call is open to everybody. So if you love Prima and you love creating, make sure you apply. Just go to prima.typepad.com and search design team call for all the details. Okay? Anything else you want to share Ken? I'm good. Just thank you so much for well, letting me you. come it along was, and create today. It was awesome. It was nice having you. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go because um, it's lunchtime and I think Ken's hungry. Yeah. So always <laughs> I'm always hungry too. And it's funny because this is the first time nobody talked about food. They always talk about food on my show. Always, because but we're always talking about food. You had so many amazing techniques today that there I was think a they little were time just to even like, talk about food. Yeah, they were just very focused. <laughs> but, um, okay, but I'll go ahead and catch you guys soon, and thank you for coming. All right, thanks. Bye. Take care.